Assassin's Creed Origins, Trial of God Sobek, an ultimate boss battle with max level. What I'm going to show you in this video is give you tips and show you how you can defeat Sobek God, even if you are lower than level 40, which is the max level in the game. Be sure to complete this quest within one week, as it will only last one week now. After one week, the quest will disappear and another Trial of God quest will be added. If you beat all four Trial of Gods, you will get the ultimate outfit called Anubis outfit, a legendary Anubis outfit. When you beat Sobek, you will also get a reward called War Scepter, a legendary level 40 weapon. Now that is only if you beat also Anubis two weeks ago. If you did not beat Anubis, you will get the Corrupted Soul legendary level 40 weapon instead. So how do you beat Sobek? The first tip that I can give you is to go to options and switch to easy mode. Playing on normal or hard is not more rewarding, it just makes the boss battle harder. You don't get any special rewards, so there's no point playing on normal or hard mode if you find the boss to be difficult, especially if you are not level 40 yet. Number two, it's very important to have a good set of weapons equipped. The best weapons that you can have for Soviet boss battle is to use weapons that have the perk called health on critical, health on kill, or the best health on hit. So you should use a bow that has health on hit, health on kill, or health on critical. And you should use also a hand weapon, a melee weapon with health on critical, health on hit, or health on kill to attack the soldiers that Sobek summons once in a while. When you hit them or kill them, you will regain health. While you shoot Sobek with the bow, you will also get health. This is why it's so important to have weapons that make you regain health. A third tip that I will give you is to have boost on your damage and arrow capacity for the bow and weapons. If you don't have it, you still have a couple of days. Remember, the event only lasts one week, so you still have time to customize your character. But this is not really necessary, as it's not really a hard boss. If you switch to easy and you have weapons that grant you health, you should be okay. Sobek only uses three combinations of attacks, so he's not really a hard boss in my opinion. Once you get the hang of it, he's I find him to be very easy, I completed him both on normal and hard difficulty. One of his attacks is a wave attack, which you have to dodge, and it's really not hard to dodge. Another one of his attacks is, I don't know, I would call it a mud bombs. There's red spots on the floor, and you basically have to stand somewhere in between those circles to not get hit. You can shoot him at the same time as he does the attack. And his final attack, the third of his attack, is going to surround the whole area, so there is no evading it, there's nothing you can do about it, the only thing you can do is block. This is the simplest attack that he does. All you have to do is just use a shield and block it. So once you defeat the Sobek boss, congratulations, you just got either the Corrupted Soul weapon, if you have not beaten Anubis boss fight previously. If you did beat Anubis boss fight, then you got this Was Scepter, which I believe there was a spelling mistake and it should be called War Scepter, a legendary level 40 weapon. Very good, very fast, big damage and some XP. So that is pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, share the video, subscribe to my channel for more Assassin's Creed Origins videos, and I will see you guys later when a new Trial of God is released. See ya.